Hey everyone and welcome back. I just love diving into an anime opening and ending that I literally, I haven't even heard of this one <laughs> at all. It appeared on my For You page and, and this poses a danger in this because I don't know if it's popular. I don't know if you like it. It's, it's, let's dive in blind. If you're new to the channel though, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We hit up anime episodes, openings, endings, obviously, quizzes and so much more. You know what I mean? The lot. <laughs> So if you like that sort of thing, hit subscribe on the channel and let's dive into Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I've got the opening, I've got the ending and not a clue. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> okay, the music is awesome. The music is up there. Love the colours. Why do I feel like it's got this kind of place, playfulness, maybe a bit of a referee moment to it? You know, just with the way the characters like are. He seems to not be bothered and she seems full of mischief. <laughs> Who is this artist? The song. I mean, there was a scene that, I mean... What did I say? It definitely seems to be referee. You know what I mean? That is very apparent in this. <laughs> His mind's blown. <laughs> oh man. Oh, there's more. I thought it was just one girl. So she must be Miss Nagatoro. I am loving this song. This song is so, so good. <laughs> what, what was that? What was the magazine? Oh, she's fuming. Okay, we, we definitely got this, these two characters that's play off between them. She seems very interested in him. He seems very rabbit in headlights. <laughs> Bless him. I don't know who she is to him or anything like that, but it very much looks like she likes him. And he's like maybe a very nervous character. And it looks like it's got those referee moments in the anime. It just does. It just does. We're going to go over to the ending, which we know tend to veer away from the anime itself. But let's see what the ending's got to give. And the ending starts off with a little bit of a sweetness to it. <laughs> Total contrast to the opening. I recognise this voice. Or do I? You notice how she seems very sad in that opening, like, animation. So it maybe has that depth of emotion, which is where I'm going. I love this ending, but it's such a contrast to the opening, isn't it? She's always whispering in his ear. <laughs> she tickling him there. There's, I don't know if I want to say there seems to be a sweetness in this, but they does, it does seem to have that in some of the characters' faces, in some of the scenes that we're seeing there. There does seem to be a sweetness there. Okay, the ending, very much a massive contrast to the opening. Massive. The opening very much tells me you've got this mischievous character, whoever, what, you know, the, 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 the girl character in this. I don't, we obviously don't know her name. It's an opening, but this, like, mysterious character, very mis mischievous, not mysterious. You know what I mean? 
it does seem to have the referee moments some of the scenes like some of the sp like uh, stills in that very much called out to it he seems very nervous i don't know if he's into it if he's not into it if these other characters these other girl characters are into him as well how that plays off let me know if you've been watching it let me know if don't tell don't toy with me miss negatoro is one that you would recommend to someone who's never seen it before let me know down in the comments below and if you're new to it like me let me know if you're going to go on to watch it and if you do definitely drop me a comment after and tell me what it's like but without any spoilers that's the main thing and it's really difficult to do but if you've made it this far make sure you hit that subscribe button and much love from me let's do this